Hi y'all, and welcome to another video. Today I'm taking you through my closet full of Madewell tops. It's an array that runs the gamut of season and occasion, so get ready for a fun ride. Along the way, I'll be talking about what it was like when I worked at Madewell from 2016 to 2018. I worked as a sales associate for two years while I was in college and had to leave in order to finish up my senior year. To this day, it's still one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. Let's get started. Come on! To start off, let's talk about the Madewell tops that last me through the fall and winter. This red balloon sleeve sweater top is one of my favorites and I'm so glad that it's finally winter so that I can wear it again. Or, you know, as winter as Dallas ever gets. It has these big balloon sleeves with tall cuffs and a relaxed fit that looks great tucked into jeans. I think it's super comfortable and it's, you know, as aforementioned, one of my favorites. This next sweater is technically a beach sweater from Madewell Summerline, but um, I wear it during the winter so I don't care. I love the open weave and how comfortable it is and it's great with wearing with like jeans and a little heel. When it's winter time and I want to party, this is my going out top. Or, you know, when there's not a global pandemic going on. I love how deep the neckline is, I think it's really sexy, but the fit is loose enough that it's not overwhelmingly in your face sexy. It's also really comfortable and pretty warm, so it's great for going out in the winter time. This green sweater is one of my coziest for the winter time. It's made mostly from nylon and merino wool with a little bit of alpaca, so it's extra warm and cuddly. It has this beautiful textured pattern on it, and it's simple and chic and pretty. This top is my autumn top. I love the deep oranges and the hint of lilac in the stripes. I think it's really flattering in the fit. It's also really lightweight, so it's comfortable in the early fall when it's still sweltering in Texas. It's also my Thanksgiving shirt. I've worn this two Thanksgivings in a row, and I plan on wearing it this year too, just because the colors are so perfect. Chef's kiss. Fun fact, I actually got this sweater and its twin in orange from the damage bin when I worked at Madewell. Items that are damaged or worn will be sold to employees at a super low kill price because we couldn't sell messed up items to customers. This knit was kind of fragile and prone to ripping if you tried it on while wearing jewelry, so the gray sweater has a hole in the back that I stitched up and the orange one has a hole in the neck that I so far have been too lazy to stitch up. This is also the part in filming the video where I stopped having fun because I was self-conscious and sweaty. Don't worry, in the next clips I put my hair up, turn off the AC, and go back to the cringe-worthy dance moves. Okay, now back to having fun. This sweater top is one of my favorites. I love the colorful stripe, and I think it's so much fun. If I were a cartoon character who happened to live in cold weather, this would be my year-round outfit of choice. A bold stripe can really make an outfit because it makes you look like you tried a lot harder than you did when it, all you have to do to make it an outfit is just set it with a bunch of simple pieces. It's also super fun and makes me feel really creative and boisterous and exuberant all day long. Okay, now into my tops that are my favorite for spring and summer. This red shimmy shake top is one of my favorites for when I feel like having fun. It has all these pom-poms and ruffle details and it's super cute. Last time I wore it was to celebrate Chilean Independence Day with some friends. We drank a lot of Pisco and ended up shouting at people from our balcony, which was fun. The time before that I had to change a flat tire in this top and a bunch of men felt sorry for me and came over and helped. Moral of the story is that this top is great for having a fun time all around and if you don't want to change your own flat tire. Y'all, when I tell you I waited for this top, I wanted this top so badly when I worked at Madewell and it sold so damn fast. It was flying out the door faster than we could get a hold of them. There was no hope of the price reducing before they had all sold out. Until one day after we had sold through all but a couple of extra extra smalls, someone returned one of these. I happened to be working the register that day so I immediately put it aside and purchased it at the end of my shift. Anyway, tails and retail aside, I adore this top. I love the tonal floral embroidery and the intricate detail. I love how blousy it is and how great it fits. I'm so glad I waited for this because now it's one of my favorites. 
If you see the buttons puckering on this top, no you don't. What you see instead is the gorgeous embroidery. I mean, what would you do if all of a sudden your bazongas were too big to fit into one of your favorite tops? You would continue to wear it until it was absolutely bursting at the seams because that's how much you friggity frackin' love this top. I mean, just look at it. Look at the baby stripes, the floral embroidery, the little ruching at the back, the collar, the cropped length, I can't! This top is so fucking cute that I would definitely wear it for a first date if I had actually gone on first dates this summer instead of being holed up in my house due to the coronavirus. But what can you do? I love the smocked empire boob line and the flutter sleeves and the little ruffle at the hem. It's so flattering and there's an extra ruffle. Oh, I can't. I adore it. Speaking of tops in a blue hue that have a little ruffle too, this flirtatious, fun, vibrant top from Madewell, obviously, all of these tops are from Madewell, is super fun and super roughly, and that's all that I have to say. I just think it's fun, and I really like it. I bet you thought we were done with this top. Well, we're not. When I was writing that opening line, it rhymed, and so I wrote myself a little poem about this top. Speaking of tops in a blue hue that have a little ruffle too, do you know what I would do to get myself into a top that makes me say Yahoo and changes my worldview? Thank you for coming to my slam poetry night. You may now all stand and applaud. Anyway, since that was embarrassing for both of us, let's just pretend it didn't happen and talk about the tops that I wear year round. This t-shirt has fingers crossed signed on the boobs and that's all you need to know about it. Thank you. Just kidding. Let me tell you a little bit about the Madewell discount rule. And one of them is that you can't use your employee discount on items that are third party affiliated. Unless of course it happens to already be marked down. So this top was a collaboration with Unfortunate Portrait and I bought it full price because I couldn't use my discount on it and I wanted to wear it to Disney World. So that shows you my dedication to fashion and also my mom criticized me for not being sensible about money. So there's that. This top is an upgrade to your basic average tee. It has a beautiful stripe pattern with a hint of oranges and lilac and it has a little daisy embroidered on the chest. How cute. I mean, how fucking cute. This top sold like hotcakes and I'm not sure why, but we had a whole line of tops that said adios, au revoir, bonjour on them and they all sold like crazy. I guess everyone was really excited to say I studied abroad one time in college. Whatever, I didn't study abroad in college because hashtag poor life, um, but I still thought this top was really cute, so I bought it. This top is my running late to work so gotta grab something that looks professional top. Now, I know I made that joke in the last video and I make that joke all the time, and it's not because I'm always late to work, it's because I'm just not that good at writing jokes. <laughs> just kidding, I'm hilarious. One of my coworkers told me so. I love the wash denim of this top. It was one of the last things I bought with my employee discount before I had to quit to finish school, and it holds a special place in my heart for that reason. The secret of this top is that it's actually a pajama top and I wear it to work anyway, because um, I'm classy. Anyway, we're done with secrets. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one video, so let's move on to the next top. This top is from Madewell's texture and thread line, which means it's a beautiful knit. This was the season that tie front tops were all the rage and everything we sold was tie front. And I, as an avid tucker in her of shirts, wasn't sure if I was down for the trend. But, you know, I caved and I bought it anyway, and sometimes I tuck it in because I'm an avid tucker in her. Being part of Madewell's texture and thread line means that this is a really good material that's really sturdy and durable, and it's not see-through at all. I noticed that a lot of the Whisper Cotton pocket tees are a little bit see-through the older they get, so I like that this is nice and opaque. This top is positively darling. I think it's a great interview or work top. I love the buttons down the front, the little ruffles at the sleeve and the hem. It's so flattering and so pretty and so elegant. And I just can't say enough good things about it. Also, to those of you wondering what it's like to work as a sales associate at Madewell, I cannot recommend it enough. It is super fun. The company culture is great. 
It's a product that is incredible, so you can feel like you're getting behind it. And you get great discounts. I mean, what is not to love? Now, I couldn't leave this video without talking about a classic Madewell chambray top. I love the update on the classic central body. The central is one of Madewell's staple shirts. It's buttoned down with capped sleeves. It usually comes either in a drapey fabric or a chambray, and I got it in this chambray with ruffle sleeves. I actually won this in a contest for having the highest KPIs during Black Friday weekend. Hence, another thing that makes it really fun to work at Madewell. There are all sorts of contests during key performance weeks where they motivate the associates by having like extra money added to your paycheck or a free shirt or a free pair of jeans. And it makes it a sort of fun competition without the pressure of having a commission. Those are all the tops I have. If you have any questions about what it was like to work at Madewell in college or my favorite tops, just leave them down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.